Um, I know not everybody can make it to the stream, so maybe in the future we could put it an hour later. But um, but I will upload the sh the live stream on my YouTube channel, so for those who missed it, you could look at it later. So basically, we're just gonna uh, talk about um a couple of things um that are relevant to this class. Um, okay. All right. So. All right, so let's try to have a respectful discourse on the chat. So, and and ask any relevant questions, and I'll try to answer you. Okay, all right. So, how's everyone doing? Um, so I know it's been how long has it been since? Um, I think it's been like two to three weeks since we last met. Um, yeah, a long time ago. I haven't left the house since then, so. Okay. Um see stream. Okay. Alright, so the stream may last up to three o'clock depending on how many questions um we have. So let's start with the current plans. So um if you recall from the I think it was one of these PowerPoints, um had like a calendar. This one. So basically we're over here now. Um on the asset base unit. So we should be finishing the asset base unit next week. There's only like two more PowerPoints left and then we're gonna start a new unit after that. Okay, so according to the news, um, Spring Break seems to be canceled. Uh, I don't know if people read the news. So it seems like we may not return on April 21st, if that's the case, if they're Plan to cancel spring break. That's just my assumption. Um, they're gonna, we're not gonna return on April twenty first. So there's a high chance it won't happen, because, um, since they're canceling spring break, um, so, basic. Well, we're we're basically gonna stay at home anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But just letting you know. So about the exams, um. Okay, so about the exams. Um, so I noticed some teachers have been giving exams um, f throughout the three weeks. So I haven't given one exam yet. So um, I'll see how it goes the next week. If we don't come back on April 21st, I may give an exam using Jupyter JunoPod. So basically, if I if I am giving an exam, it will be using Junopod. So, um, I haven't decided whether to, you know, do it. Like, I know some teachers, like, if they, for science class, it'll be on Monday, um, math class will be on Tuesday, etc. So, if I am going to give an exam, it'll probably be on a Monday, but I'm considering just putting it as a take home exam. You know, like you could just do it over the weekend, um, and that'll be it. Because I know some teachers are putting like a like a time slot, like okay, you gotta go on Jupiter about like twelve o'clock, and you have like forty minutes to do the exam. I don't know if everyone could do that, so I'm I'm th I'm considering doing a take home exam. I don't know if people have any opinions about that. You want a take home exam, or you want a sort of um, time slot type of exam. So um, I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, we'll see next week if w I'm sure they'll give put an announcement next week whether we will be returning on the 21st. But as of now, I don't think so because they canceled spring break. So I think they're planning to continue the canceling of schools. So. That's just my guess of a theory of what's gonna happen. So um the the take home exam um probably will have a time limit. Like 
it'll be enough time. It'll be similar to the quizzes, because the the way Jupiter Juniper is designed for um for those type of things that are graded by correction, there has to be a time limit. I just put an insane amount of time on the quizzes, so it it looks like there's unlimited time. But um, I'll think about it uh, for the exams, because technically people can always look up the answers. So. Mm, if it, if it, like if I'm putting it as a take home exam, it'll probably be the whole weekend to do it or something, S something like that. Uh, stream is lagging. Check. Um, mm. No, I think it's just you for for now. Um. Okay. Okay. So basically, um, but if we just, uh, this, okay, I know it's like the amount of people doubled in, um, on the stream. So just uh, FYI, we're just going over some of the current plans and agenda. So there's a high chance that um, we may not return. So I may have to give an exam because marking period two, grades are around the first week of May. So I probably need to give an exam before the first week of May because I need to enter something. Um, so if I am going to give an exam, it will be for the first week of May. So because I need to enter grades um, for marking period two. So if I am going to give an exam and we don't come back on the 21st, then I have to give an exam. All right, so some some so some sometime between the twenty first and the first week of May will probably be the exam. Um, okay, just so just letting you know if I if we don't come back, the exam has to be between twenty first and the first week of May because I need to enter some grades. Okay, so about the labs, so um, there's a uh, discussion going around that we're gonna do online labs. Because we still need 15 labs to tick the regions. And I believe most people have like 11 or 12, depending if you're absent or not. So, um, so I'll let you know if we're going to do online labs later. It, like it all depends whether, whether we're coming back on the 21st or not. All right. So about updates on the regions. Um, they haven't canceled the regions yet. Um, so uh, they have canceled all the state exams and stuff, but they haven't canceled the regions exams. I'm guessing if school does not open up, they might postpone it to the summer. Like like you take it in August, so the August regions, you just come in during um August and you just take the August regions from the looks of it. So it depends. It depends whether we're coming back uh, on on the twenty first. If we do, then. I think everything goes back to normal, but if we don't, then they might just postpone everything. Um, I don't think so. But I will give a review, a review packet about everything from September to June, so uh, don't worry about that. Okay, so but I'll discuss that later. All right, so okay, so I, I just discussed the exams and the labs. So again, you need you still need fifteen labs to think the region. So I'm thinking there's a discussion going on. We're gonna do online labs, okay? So for the now, so market period two grades. So we're still gonna use the uh, E, S, N, and U grading. It's the same as market period one, all right? For for market period two grades. So it shouldn't change so much because we're. Because we're only, I'm only assigning homework and quizzes for the last couple of weeks. Um, I, I was, well, I may assign an exam later, but um, as of now, your grade shouldn't have went down or went up too much. Um, okay. Now, so for the assignments so far, so so far I've been giving homeworks and quizzes. Um, let's see. So is it too much or too little? Because I feel like I'm a. I'm signing at least an assignment every day or every other day, either a homework or a quiz. So yesterday I signed a homework and a quiz. So, and usually you have a one week to do either one. Um, so, okay, okay, homework is fine. Okay, 
Um, do people want more quizzes? Because I think um, that will probably be helpful for your grades. Because um, since when I'm not giving, uh, I'm only giving mostly homework and because it's offline. It's not offline. Um, not offline. Uh, Quiz 11? Oh. Why is it offline? Oh. Oh, let me set everything online. Okay. That's funny. Okay. Alright. For some reason, only some of the classes were on. Okay, let me set it online. Alright. Alright, sorry about that. So... Quiz 11 should be online now. Sorry. Okay. Alright. So, yeah. Apparently, only one period was um, online. So, sorry about that. So, not all the classes should be online for Quiz 11. I may extend the date. Um, we'll see. See how many people... Would... So, for the assignments. Um, so, do people want more quizzes? Because I feel like it would probably be helpful since some people need more practice from the more quizzes. Um, I guess we can vote on it later. All right. So okay. So the regions. So um, I will give a, a review packet. So let me see if I have it or somewhere. So the review packet. Um. So I will update the review packet, but basically it looks something like this. So basically, it just summarizes the entire um, unit from September to October, uh, I mean, to June, basically. So it has everything, uh, basically every topic for the regions. Um, and that should be enough for you to study off, of, even if you haven't been paying attention or you've been slacking off, you should be able to do well just by studying this packet. So I also broke down the topics for you, uh, which topics to fo focus on, on the regions per each time is offered. So basically, uh, as, as of now, they're not canceled yet. Um, but I believe if we don't come back on the 21st, they may just push it to the summer. So the state exams are canceled, yes. But I believe this, they, they still like, um, hesitating on the regions exams, um. So, so, but we'll see. Like that, that they'll probably announce something in the coming coming weeks, whether it's canceled or not. But if anything, you probably still have to take the regions regardless, because it's still ten. As of now, it's still worth twenty percent of your grade. So, if we if we do take it over the summer, it is gonna like retroactively update your grade on your transcript. Okay. So um, as of now, the schools are scheduled to open on the twenty first. But my my uh, theory is they'll they're not gonna open at that date because they cancel spring break. So they probably figured it's not gonna get better in the coming weeks. So yeah. So I'm assuming it probably will be closed for another month. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, since they closed spring break. So basically, uh, I'll update this packet and I'll, depending on where we're open or not, I'll send it to everybody or I'll just print it out once we come back and I'll give it to everybody to study off of them. So these are basically all the notes. I took out all the SAT2 stuff and all you have to do is study from it. This is all from your PowerPoint and stuff. There's also a bunch of practice questions. Um, oh no, what is it? So, which I'll, I usually give out these packets around June or May. Okay. So, basically, it just has a lot of questions um, divided by topic. So, basically, question number divided by topic. And you just practice um, these so like 700 questions. So, basically, you just practice them. And the answer key, I'll probably give it to you. And you just grade yourself so that's basically what i'm gonna give you like more or less um 
and also a drop assignment as well, which I'll talk about in a moment. So basically, I'll I'll give you a bunch of stuff if if um around June or May, depending on whether we open or not, whether I print it out or or I just send it to you through Jupiter. It depends whether we can open or not. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the drop assignment, a review assignment. So I'll probably give that out around, um, well, I'd like to print it out and give it to you, but, you know, that'd be a problem if we don't come back. So I'll probably just post it on Jupiter later on my, on my website. But I'll probably give it out around May. Um, just want to see whether we open or not first. Like, when are we... Like it, like if we're coming back around mid May, then I'll probably just print it out and give it to you. But if we're not, then we'll see. Um, uh, okay. So okay. All right. So if you've been um missing assignments or just haven't been doing much in this class, then you have to tell me to reopen your assignments because they're. Because the Jupiter automatically sets a deadline, and if you don't do it, then it'll close for you. So you need to ask me to reopen it for you. Um, so if there is a lack of engagement, then I probably usually I, like after a couple of assignments you don't do anything. Then I I usually email you. So some people have received emails from me saying you haven't been doing much in the class. Start working, All right? So worst case scenario, I'll just email your parents, but Usually, um, I'll email you first after like one or two assignments. You don't do anything. Okay, so all right, so that concludes the current plans. Um, do does does everybody know how to use JunoPod? Um, in the chat. Okay. Okay, so the question was, does everyone know how to use Junopod? So, alright. Okay. Because um, some people, like, literally every single assignment assigned, there's always someone emailing me how to do this, how to do that. Okay. So, okay. So, basically, the homework is graded on completion. Basically, if you you know, just guessing and checking, you eventually will get a hundred just by guessing and checking. So let me go over how to do it. So basically, um, for example, this question, I believe this was one of the homeworks. So it says to select all the strong assets. So you just pick one and you see there's a check mark on the bottom. So you click the check mark and it tells you if you're right or wrong. So technically you can just keep guessing and checking until you get it right. Technically. So technically, you could just keep guessing and checking until you get it correct. So, but if you're taking the homework seriously, you could do it yourself before you guess and check, of course. Okay, and there's a hint on the bottom for homeworks. Um, okay, so some of you were asking me how to do a use the keyboard. So if you see the six, I mean eight dots over here, you could change the keyboard to uh, math or algebra, but I, I set it automatically to chemistry because it's a chemistry class. If you click this up arrow, you could change the keyboard a bit. Okay? And you can just write your answer and it'll tell you. So this is for the quiz. Uh, and this is to change um, the question. So on the bottom is the question number. You're on question five. All right, and this is just changing the question. Um, there was one question people asking me. Was... Okay, but for the drawing question, you have so this is how you use the drawing function. You click this, 
So this is I I I I only set it to black. So I I didn't set like because you could set like a, a rainbow set of colors. I just set it to black. So all you do is just draw it. Notice this is black, so you just color it in. A bunch of people did not color it in. They just did this. They just did this. Uh, right? But you're supposed to color it in, the oxygen. So you just color it in. Right? And that's it. Okay? And if you want to undo, you just click this. Right? Clicking this is an eraser. It erase. Okay? Um, it is possible that the colors did not automatically set at all if you didn't, if you didn't do the quiz or if the program you're not doing it. It is possible, but if there was a day to remind you to email me to reopen the quiz for you. Okay, disappearing. Um, oh no, I, um, I, um, I'm just pausing on my as I'm speaking. I'm thinking. Okay, can you hear me now? Um, let me turn off the volume. Okay. 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 All right. So now, I, now everybody hear me. Okay. All right. So. Um. Okay, I'll try to speak slowly. I think because there's um there's always latency when it comes to streaming. So if, if I'm speaking too fast, the system might not be um streaming it correctly. Um. So I'll speak slower. Okay. So as I was saying over here, some people do not know how to use. This drawing thing. So if you click this black, you could draw a black line and you just color it in for the oxygen. Okay? So this is how you would do this um, question. So this is the eraser. You could erase using this. And this is redo and undo, depending if it's useful for you or not. Okay. Alright. So just letting you know how, because some people did not. Um, how you put it? Did not follow the key. They just did this, right? Or they just did this, or they just drew it over the place. They just drew lines, which was wrong. So just letting you know how to use this. Okay. So, um, this one. There was another thing. Okay. Okay. So. So some questions have a check mark on the bottom that you have to click check mark to move on. Um, okay, there was one question. Um, okay, all right, never mind. Okay. 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 So now we're gonna have a Q and A session. So. Basically, you can ask me questions on the chat, and I can answer it the best of my best of my abilities. So I guess we could do the quiz first. Does anybody have any questions on the quiz? Like at this point, everybody should have seen the answer key for um for some of these quizzes. So does anybody have any questions on the quiz? Oh. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. For example, like um, I, when you looked at the answer key, you weren't sure why that was the answer. I guess I could go over some questions that I saw a lot of people get wrong. Um, 
Let me see. Let me open. Is this one? Um, no, it's not. Okay. okay, let's open this one. Okay. Oh, uh, why is Hygonium on the surface? Okay, so his question. So if you look back at this PowerPoint, I believe it was on PowerPoint one. Okay, so let's go to PowerPoint. If you, I'm gonna go to PowerPoint one. Is is this part over here? So why is the H plus ion consider Hydronium? Oh, not not this one. This one over here. So why is that? So if it, if it H plus aqueous, right over here, that's the same as you have an H plus plus a water molecule. That's basically hydronium. So that's why it's H plus aqueous is considered hydronium. It's basically the same thing. Okay. And some people were asking me why um, H plus. Um, yeah, I'm typing something. Um, uh, okay. So yeah, so I was typing, that's why I, I, I wasn't talking. Yes. Okay, so that's why H plus aqueous is considered hydronium. All right, so there was a common question people got wrong on the SM base unit quiz. The first one um, was about, where is it? Oh yeah, this one. So for this question, when it says to explain why in terms of particles, why acidic acid can conduct an electric current, you have to write the word mobile or moving ions in your answer. If you did not write that, you'd be marked wrong. It doesn't matter if you wrote the word dissociate um, as an electrolyte, you have to write the word mobile or moving to be considered correct on the quiz. Okay, I'm typing again, so give me a minute. Uh, okay. All right, so does, does anybody have any other questions on the SM base quiz before we move on to the next? item on the agenda. <clears throat> Give you a list of acids and bases, table K and table L, and all you, usually, if is an acid base question, usually is on table K or table L. Rarely were they asked an acid or base that's not on table K or table L. It, it has happened, but it's rare. Okay? So the easiest way to tell if it's acid or base, besides checking table K and table L, is to look if it's H in front. That's usually an acid. Okay? Depending on how it's written, so notice this is considered acid, you just write it differently. So this is both acidic acid, it just, they just wrote it differently. Okay? And if it has an OH, 
in the back um, of the chemical formula and is an ionic compound, yeah, that, that's a base. And you just need to know NH3 is a base. Okay, so how can you tell if it conducts electricity when it dissolves? So, usually if it's an acid base or ionic compound, it will conduct electricity when it dissolves. Okay, so I have a question. Does logging in for one minute only count when you're doing it during a class period? Um, you can log in at any time, but it must be at a certain area. It, you, you cannot just log in at the messages and it will register. You got to check one of my previous messages. Um, so you have to either go to your grades or assignments. Or you go to a class forum, or you click the class notice. So you must go there for one minute for it to register. This going on Jupyter message um, inbox is not going to do anything. You have to go to the, one of these three areas. Okay, so yeah, so I may post a stream later. And um, I may... In the future, may put the stream maybe at a later time, maybe at 2.30. Okay, so next question. Um, given the system at equilibrium, as the pressure increases at constant temp, the amount of CO2 will what? Okay, let me put the question up um, on Jupiter first. Given the system, where is it? Okay, maybe he's not here. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm trying to find the question. Um, this one, right? Okay, so this this was the question. Let's see, okay, so basically here, when it's talking about pressure, you have to count the gas molecules in the reactants and products. So on the reactant side, there's zero. On the product side, there is one. Okay, so when you increase the pressure, you favor the side with the least gas molecule. Reactant has zero, gas has one. So the least amount is on the reactant side. Okay? So you're basically favoring the reactants. And since CO2 gas is on the product side, it has to decrease because it's favoring the reactants. That's why the answer is two. Oh, two. So another way to think about this is think about this like CO2 gas and CO2 solid. You're applying pressure. You're basically pushing all the molecules together. When you push molecules together, you're basically forming a solid here. Okay? Because the molecules are now closer together. So that's another way to think about it. So that's for... Okay, so next question. Um... Okay, wait, okay. How does it take attendance? Yeah, so you, so again, so you have to go to certain areas on Jupiter. So let me just go show you how it's done. Really how you would do it is you have to go to these three things. So either click on assignment. So if I click one of these assignments, so on your end, you click on assignment and you just stay there for a minute. Okay? And you view grades. Or you click on the class forum. For example, if I click a class forum, Where's the forms? Okay, so this is the forms. You click one of these, and you just stay there for a minute. 
Okay, so oh, you, get, you get asked a question if you want to. Um, or does a class notice on the calendar? So if you go to calendar, so notice that this is the calendar. So in case you want those people that keep forgetting where there's, when are things due, the calendar is the, will help you, you know, get organized. So I believe if you click one of these, Okay, so when you, when you, when you click it, you should open up something else. So on your end, and you just get, stay on that page for a while. Okay, so. You can just keep it on at, in, um, in the background for one minute. You don't have to like do anything. You can just keep it on in the background for one minute while you do your other stuff and your other, um, um, other, you can check your email, whatever, just keep it on. Yes, I, I yes, I could have said solubility of gas. Um, can we get a better system? It doesn't tell me. So currently, um, there is no better system than this one. I know right now they are sending you emails. Every day to check to check into the school. Yes, you can switch tabs as long as you stay logged in at that certain page. You can you can stay um you can stay uh, logged in. Yes, you can switch tabs. You don't have to stay on the same tab. So you can just keep it on while you do your other work. Right, it's very simple. Um. Okay, unfortunately, there is no other system because, you know, this is, um, closing the school has been a rush. So basically, everybody is doing things on the fly. So I know the school is currently just emailing you every day in the morning just to, for you to scan in to the system. Okay. So if you, if you still have any questions, I could check, oh, I could check this. So basically on my end, Basically, on my end, it will, it will check if you log in for a certain amount of time. So, for example, Ethan's on period one, I believe. So, basically, you have from 6 a.m. to the end of the day to log in at some time. So, yeah, yes, Ethan, you've been logged in for like 10 minutes. So, this is how it registered. So, it, So that's basically it. So you you can log in anytime, basically when you wake up to when the day's over. So it's, it's not a lot I'm asking for people to do for, only for one minute. So that's the smallest number I can set is one minute. Okay. So basically, you, all you do is log in. Okay. So that's all you have to do. So some people had the bare minimum. They only log in for one minute. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Does anybody have any other questions on any of these topics here, or anything relevant to the class? Um, for example, you could ask any questions about the previous agenda we just covered. So, if you want, you could complete the survey. Um, I don't know if people could do it. So, so this survey just say, um, a feedback for me for future streams. Uh, so for weak assets and bases, you do not, well, you can use table F, but typically you have to memorize the strong assets and strong bases. Cause anything that's not the strong asset or strong base, as a weak asset and weak base. So you have to memorize the strong assets and strong bases. So you have to memorize this list. Where is it? Um, so you have to memorize this part. Um, so you have to memorize the strong assets. All right, you have to memorize this. 
Okay. For strong basis, the easiest way to memorize this is that it's a ionic compound with a hydroxide that is soluble. Okay. So I list out the eight that are soluble. This is based off table F. All right. For strong acids, for the reagents, you have to at least know HCl and H2SO4. And maybe this one is a strong acid. They don't really ask about these two because these two are harder to memorize. So they don't usually ask about these two that much, but th they do ask about these two a lot and maybe this one. Okay. This is sometimes. So the only one that you don't, that's not a strong acid out of these four is the HF. So HF is the weak acid. These are all strong. These three are all strong. Okay. So the only one that's odd one in the family is HF. All right. But on the regions, they usually ask these two the most. They might ask this one, the nitric acid, but they don't really ask about these two. Because these two are harder to memorize. All right. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, yes. So for weak acids and weak bases, that means it's reversible. So that means it's at equilibrium. So you'll be forming molecules and forming ions at a constant rate. So basically is at equilibrium. So basically you're forming your reactants and products, right, at equal rates. Okay. Oh yeah. So another question people got wrong on the equilibrium course is that, um, I think it's something with constant versus equal. So constant is not the same as equal. Just letting you know. Yeah, so I will upload the stream later. So, um, so in case you missed the stream, I may edit the stream, may cut out some of the lag and stuff, and I'll upload the stream for those who missed it. Okay. Okay. All right. So, let me. I'm. I'm gonna post the survey again. Uh, Okay. The answer is no. Do we need to print out the packet? So basically, um, the, the acid base unit is the biggest packet. It's like 50 pages long. We are not going to cover all 50 pages. You just need some of the stuff. You don't need everything. So, so for example, you don't have to print out like these questions unless you're planning to practice it yourself. All right. You could probably just edit the PDF if you want to practice it. If you want to take notes, you just print out certain pages, like like these pages where you can fill in the blanks, or you can um, pr just edit the PDF. Okay, so you don't have to print out. Um, yeah, I could do that. I can tell you what pages to print out. Um, but typically, I tell you that at the beginning of each video, which page we're on. So it's up to you. If you just want the notes, you just print out the note pages. Like for example, in the first PowerPoint, it was just page three, page four, and page five. That's what's basically the whole lesson. And the rest is just extra practice. Um, yeah, print out whatever pages I cover in the video. Notice I'm going to skip, like, let's see, which, uh, let me see what, okay. So I'm planning to stop around page 35. So anything after page 35, I'm not going to cover because that's not on the regions. So I'm not going to cover that on the um, videos. So anything after page 35, I'm not going to cover at all. But I will post the PowerPoints for them. I'm just not going to cover them. Okay. All right. Uh... Uh, no. Just print out relevant pages. For example, I don't know if you're gonna practice all these questions. It's up to you. Are you the type that needs to print it out to practice? Then print it out. If not, then I know some people could just use, use their computer and just practice it on the computer. They could just edit the PDF file. It's up to you. Or they convert the PDF file to a Word document. It's very easy to do that. You just Google convert PDF to Word. And automatically convert it for you if that's possible. 
Okay, it's, it's, it's up to you. Um, where you want to print it out? Because I know it's not everybody has a printer at home. So all you have to do is just edit the PDF yourself or write on the PDF using a computer. Okay. So there's gonna be at least. Um, does anybody have any questions on? Because there is another quiz out. Does anybody have any questions on what we covered for indicators or any of the other topics? Okay. Okay, so if if people don't have any other questions, I guess I could close the stream unless anybody has any other questions. Um, do you want me to have another stream next week? Let me just type it. Okay, so, um, cause since some people told me they have like a history class or math class to go to that was at the same time period as the stream, I guess we could set it as 2.30 or 3 o'clock next time. So it'll be more convenient for everybody. Um, but I guess you could just let me know. If, I, I, I'll, I, um, I'll post the survey again on my, um, on Jupiter message later. We could set the stream at a later time. For everybody, because I didn't know there was a history and a math teacher doing Zoom at the same time. So, um, okay. So, does anybody have any questions? Any more questions? Or else I'm gonna close the stream and I'll edit a couple of things and I'm gonna post it on my website. Mm. Uh, yes, there's a calendar on Jupiter. Um, it's one of, it's one of the options, I believe. You just click calendar. And it basically has when things are due. So right now, this is showing just chemistry, but if it's one of your classes, you probably have English, math as well listed everywhere. So this will tell you when things are due. Cause I know a lot of teachers are doing online now and it's, you know, it's all over the place. So it's hard to keep track of when things are due. So you can just look at the calendar and you can tell. So right now it's just showing chemistry. But I believe there's an option we can set to a particular class. Right now, I only have chemistry uploaded. Cause, but if for you, you probably have like math or English or global. Then you could just, there's, I believe there was an option that you could just set to a particular class. All right. Okay. All right. So, um, I can review equilibrium, um, but if you have any questions, um, about equilibrium, like you have a particular question, because I, I only cover one PowerPoint, which was the common ion effect. That's the only thing I covered, um, from the equilibrium video. Because the rest of the equilibrium stuff is all, is not on the region, so I just skipped everything. Okay. Alright. So, for those... Okay, yes, I know some people have been falling behind due to a huge swamp of work um, you've been assigned to. And I know not everybody has access to the to their computer or Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay. So... Again, if you're falling behind on my work, just remind, just get email me to tell me to reopen the, reopen the assignment for you. Cause once, cause Jupiter has a time limit or a due date. So once it hits that due date, it's gonna close. Okay. 
Um, well, the videos are on my YouTube channel. I'm not gonna delete them. Oh uh, yes, I I I will remember to do that. Um, I'll probably do it this weekend. Um, I will do it this weekend. I just haven't have the time to do it lately. So I haven't assigned an exam yet because um well you just came in so before I was talking about whether we should have an exam or not so if I depending on where school is open on the 21st I may put an exam using Jupiter Juno pods sometime between the 21st and the first week of May because Mark and Pierce two grades are due at the first week of May so Basically, before I was just going over the agenda, the plan, and any questions about any topics. Um, I guess you could rewatch the stream later if you miss anything. But basically, I'm gonna, I'm debating whether to put it as 40 mi 45 minutes or just give you a weekend to do a take home exam. I think it'll be more convenient for everyone to do a take home exam than assigning a particular date. Cause I know s s most, at least a bunch of teachers are doing setting a particular time. Yes, yes, Albert is optional. So I'll post the uh, um, instructions on how to log into Albert again in case you, you never logged in before uh, on Jupiter later. How to log in. Uh, for the surveys, there is no time, there's no deadline. It just, the sooner the better because I usually make decisions based off the survey. Um... So if you post it like weeks later, it probably is not going to be useful for me because like I like to use other people's input. So you post it like, like a month later, it's, you know, it's way past that because most of your survey is just like feedback or what do you want to see happen. So if you give me your input like weeks later, it's not going to be relevant. Okay. So does anybody have any more questions? Because uh, I'm going to close the stream. If there's no more questions. Okay. Okay. Okay, so thanks uh, for those who decided to join the stream. I will edit the, the stream a bit and I will post it for those who want to watch it later. Uh, no, I just went over like any. Is, does anybody have any questions, like um, on a quiz, or homework, or a video lesson? I just went over the topic, and that was it. I didn't really teach anything. I just reviewed it. Okay, so so hope everybody stays safe. I'm gonna close the stream now. So, yeah, I just reviewed it, um, just to, because someone asked a question about it on how to identify it. But basically on the regions, they only ask you like XCL and H2SO4. You don't really have to memorize them for the regions. You have to memorize it for the SAT2 and you probably take the AP later. You have to memorize the strong assets and strong bases. But for regions, no. Okay, so if so, I'm gonna close the stream now. So hopefully everybody stay safe. Uh, any questions? Feel free to message me. Uh, I heard the AP exam. They're doing it online. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. They're planning to do it like an online thing. Uh, well, well, it's too late to register now. The saying, but um. If you have registered for it, I believe they're doing something online. Um, 
So it's up to you. I, I, like this might be the yeah, the, yeah, they, 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 they water it down, I believe. Uh, but and they also did it online. So basically, you you can upload answers on their po on their platform while doing it. Yes, I believe they took out some stuff. I I I haven't you know looked at it, but um, but I believe is that they're using a pla an online platform and you just upload your answers or you, onto it. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out because it's the first year they're doing it. Um, yeah, there's two ways to do that. Either you download a program, yes, that a PDF um editor to do that, or you convert the PDF to Word. Convert the PDF to Word. So those are the two ways to. Well, there's, there's lots of ways to do it. If you don't have the PDF editor, you convert the PDF to Word, or you just use one of those uh, notebook ads. Okay. Okay. So. Anyone has any more questions? Any more questions? Okay. All right. Okay. So. All right. So anyway, um, I'm gonna close the stream now. So hopefully everyone has a good weekend, and hopefully things get better and we actually come back on the 21st or 20th. But I'm guessing we'll probably see each other maybe in May or June, if possible.